we are taking you back in time this morning for your Halloween plan. Good day, this is Cameron Fontana. He is live with the Ohio Historical Society this morning for their spooky celebration. Hey Cam, where are you? Yeah. Oh. Ah. Good morning, Adam and Tara. Ah. <laughs> I scared you. We are at Ohio Village for All Hallows Eve. It's one of the greatest events that they have. That was a transition from characters, by the way. It's one of the greatest events that they have the entire year. Thousands of people step back in time to the 19th century to celebrate Halloween just as they would back then. So stay tuned to Good Day Columbus all morning long. We're doing some really fun stuff. We're going to carve some pumpkins. Then we're going to step back in time, get in costume. We're going to learn how to be a professional mourner. We're going to see some of the characters and see some of the museums here that have some kind of scary stuff. So stay tuned. It's a great event. It's happening 530 today and we're going to feature it and give you a preview of it all morning long. And one more thing, Tara, I am very disappointed that you have never seen Are You Afraid of the Dark? What? Cameron no. knows exactly what I'm talking about, don't you, buddy? <laughs> I will try the to The tale of the gasoline grinner. <laughs> see? Oh, I you actually have don't know to watch him. You have there. to watch him. Cam, thanks. We'll see you back here shortly. <laughs> Let's take a trip to Halloween Past. The ghost of Halloween Past, you say. <laughs> Cameron Fontana, he is live at the Ohio Village. Just stop I-71 in North Columbus. Cam. Spooky. What's going on? <laughs> Good morning with me. Anna, what are we doing right now? Where are we at? We are in Ohio Village and we are getting ready for tonight's All Hallows Eve. All Hallows Eve. This is Anna. Let's go this way, Anna. Let's keep searching. She is with Ohio History Connection. Tell us, what makes this event so special tonight? Well, this is one of our largest signature events that we do here. It's most popular and we are celebrating fabulous Halloween traditions of the 19th century. 19th century. Speaking of which, what was that noise up there? I think it must have been a loud bird. It must have been a very loud, loud bird. bird. Something in the sky. <laughs> so some of the events, you not only have modern activities what types of things are those that we yeah, can so do today? you can come and we have pumpkin carving and some of the things that people associate mm -hmm. with Halloween today okay but my favorite part is all of the great 19th century things fortune tellings gingerbread husbands and my favorite the legend of Sleepy Hollow the legend of Sleepy Hollow so this is a great alternative there's a lot of haunted houses around pretty gory and this is really family friendly right very much so so if you want to escape that kind of that you know, the horror, gory, super scary stuff, which is too much for yeah. me. This is a great family opportunity. It's great for kids of all ages and adults too. And it's educational. It is. We All of the traditions we celebrate today are rooted in folklore and tradition. So not only do you get to do the fun thing, you learn about how it got started and why we celebrate the way we do. So parents, you can trick your kids into really, this is another couple hours at school by <laughs> learning new things and having fun at the same time. It is the most fun educational experience you'll have all season. Yes, all season long. So stay tuned to Good Day Columbus. What are we doing coming up next. I thought we would uh, carve some pumpkins and talk maybe a little bit about the legend of why it is we have jack-o'-lanterns. Why it is and what's the last we got to kind of tease this what's the last thing that we're gonna do it's kind of funny. We're gonna be heading over to our funeral parlor and I think you might want to audition to be a professional funeral mourner. <laughs> oh, yeah. you're, is that, you're gonna be great. Oh that's gonna, gonna be, be awesome. Stay tuned to Good Day Columbus. <laughs> Let's search for some <laughs> ghosts and ghouls. <laughs> yeah, well, be careful. I always worry about him, Tara. He's got the best assignment today. Let's it's see if he comes back. He might stay a professional <laughs> mourner forever. <laughs> Happening today, we are getting ready to carve some pumpkins here on Good Day Columbus. Yeah, excited about this. Cameron Fontana is there live with his own creations. Cameron? Good morning. We're just a couple of jack-o'-lanterns over here, Ooh. aren't we, Anna? Ooh. <laughs> That's a TV trick. It's really us with holding pumpkins in front of us. We are at Ohio Village. With me is Anna with Ohio History Connection. This portion is the pumpkin picking and pumpkin carving, right? Yes, yeah, so we've got pumpkins we've already picked so you don't have to go into the mud and you pick out the perfect pumpkin for you and you can carve it right here in the village. The perfect pumpkin to put on your porch. There you go. P, 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 P. So works. I'm gonna work on this one. This is really cool. Tell us what's going on today. It's happening at 530. Yeah, it starts I'm gonna give you this. I'm going to continue my piece over <laughs> All here. All right, I'll let you get back to your art here. So yeah, um, oh, All Hallows Eve starts tonight at 5.30 in Ohio Village. It's this Saturday and next Saturday, so if you can't make it out to see us, you've got two chances. Okay. Uh, things for the whole family, including pumpkin carving, making Halloween masks, fortune tellings, and a retelling of the legend of Sleepy Hollow. Which, that's one of the coolest things they have. I don't want to give anything away, but there's a surprise that they have on the bridge. Yeah, there's a certain character who makes an appearance, Ooh. and we have two showings. We 
have one at 7.30 uh, and one at 9. So you can pick your spookiness level. Also, whatever you need for your bedtime if you yeah. need to get home. So we've got lots of options for everybody. And for people that don't know, there's actually a story behind the jack-o'-lantern. Yeah, so everything we do here is rooted in traditional folklore and folk tales, and the jack-o'-lantern is no exception. So all I'll say is that it involves a, a wild and wicked Irishman and a roasted turnip. A wild and wicked Irishman and a roasted turnip. Now, while you've been talking, I've been working on something very special. I can see. Look at this. Our very own, hold up, i got to fix this piece right here because I didn't think about it. Ready? Uh, uh, uh. Boom! What does that say, Anna? It says GDC. GDC! How do you guys like that in the studio? Isn't that sweet? Excellent. How do you like that, Phil? Excellent. I love it. Plus, Cameron Fontana, he's live at the Ohio Village. <laughs> Good morning. I have snuck into the female seminary here at the Ohio Village. Coming up next, <laughs> we're going to learn about gingerbread husbands. You don't know what that is, do you? Well, you're going to find out next on Good Day Columbus. Stay tuned. Take a trip through history to learn the spooky secrets of Halloween. What kind of secrets? Spooky. Spooky secrets. <laughs> Cameron Fontano. Fantano. <laughs> Fontana is somewhere at All Hallows Eve at the Ohio Village. Cameron, what an entrance. I, I guess this morning I am Fontano since I am dressed for the occasion. But that's okay. We can just go with it. But I just came from upstairs. We're in the female seminary. I wasn't supposed to be upstairs, was I? That is the young women's sleeping quarters. It is no place for a gentleman. Oh, I am so sorry. I, I got my hat on. I need to act distinguished. Now, this is very, very interesting. These are what are called gingerbread husbands. Gingerbread husbands. What's the history behind that? Yeah, so um, traditionally on nights such as All Hallows, when the veil between our world and the spirit world is thin, there's certain powers. So what young women would do is create a drawing of their perfect husband. Oh maybe gosh. he's a banker, maybe he's a soldier or a member of the fire brigade. They would then craft him out of gingerbread, decorate him, eat him, and within the next year you would meet and marry your gingerbread so husband. So you eat your husband in hoping that one day he would come and meet you in person. It's sound, it's sound logic to me. Did the men do anything? Did men have like wife brownies or wife cookies? You know, not that I know of, but traditions are always changing. So maybe that's something you want to start. We can start something new. So this is one of the amazing things that you can learn here. It's very educational. All Hallows Eve, it starts at 5.30 today. And in addition to this place, you also have, do people get to eat the gingerbread Everyone cookies too? Everyone gets to sample gingerbread cookies. We also have soul cakes people can try. So mm. educational, incredibly fun, and delicious. And delicious. And you got to take a look at these. So let's, let's assume what kind of husbands these would be. This, you know. Husband, our soldier. That's a soldier. You he's, can tell his, marching. or karate man. But they didn't have karate back then. That's uh, right. Perhaps a member of the fire brigade. Okay. And then we have the farmer. Husband the farmer. Here. And right over here we have someone in a nice jacket. Potentially a banker with that fancy hat and his nice coat. Always a good stable husband. Yeah, so what kind of what kind of husband would you draw onto? What would you like to see on your gingerbread husband? Well, I am expecting a baby, so I would like to see a husband with a nice baby Bjorn, a nice <laughs> helpful, a helpful power Hold, dad. Holding <laughs> here. What we can do is we can make one of these. This can kind of be the baby. And let's go over here to the there we go. There we go. A banker with a baby. A banker with a baby. It's so useful. <laughs> That's the best husband. Other than this, what are some of the different areas that people can explore here at All Hallows Eve? So we invite people to not only explore our outdoor areas, which is filled with all of the fortune teller tents. So there's seven different tents. You can have um, your palm red or the tea leaves red. You can head into all of our buildings, such okay. as this one. Meet with folks. Um, try some of our lovely samples. Yeah. Carve a pumpkin and Legend of Sleepy Hollow, of course, the oh, highlight of yes. the evening. So speaking of telling our future, what do you see is going to happen next on GDC? I see you meeting with a strange man in a museum full of rare and curious oddities. Is that what you see? I see that. Is that what you see in the studio? I think so, because it's probably in the script. So that's what we're going to do next. <laughs> Cam, have you thought about going as Willy Wonka? Fox 28. We're, we're hanging out. <laughs> Say what? Do you want to be Willy Wonka for Halloween? I think you could pull it off. He said I look like Willy Wonka. <laughs> Do I have any Oompa Loompas here? Uh, not <laughs> oh, okay. The schnozberries taste like schnozberries. <laughs> there it is. Perfect. Yes, that's great. Right. Thank done. you, Cam. We'll see you soon. Halloween just around the corner, but you can experience its oddities today. Cameron Fontana is one of those oddities. <laughs> He's live at the Ohio Village for All Hallows Eve. All decked out.
<laughs> Good morning. How are you doing? I am with Mike, the curator of the Museum of Oddities. How are you doing today, Mike? I'm doing quite well, thank you, sir. Tell us, what are some of these amazing artifacts that we see here? They're divided into sections, is that correct? Right. We have uh, oddities from all over, contained from natural history, from biblical history, from history, and from folklore and uh, from fairy tales, but we have collected those oddities for people to come and see. What is the history of a museum of oddities or collections like this? Well, long ago, people in Europe, if they had lots of money, they could, they would collect oddities and put them in either cabinets of curiosities or oddities or rooms of curiosity and oddities. And then if you were fortunate enough to be invited to their home for dinner, you might be invited to look into their cabinet of curiosities or even better go into their room of curiosities and thus the museum of oddities or the future museums were born. So I'm your friend and I've been invited here so that's a pretty good Indeed. thing, right? And I have a lot of things to show you. Look at this. For instance, we have coral from the Coral Sea. That's very, very rare. Oh, very rare indeed. We have a crystal from the lost city of Atlantis. Oh, my goodness. And, and look above. There's, there's even ghosts in the mirrors. Oh, no. Oh, that, that's us. That would be. Oh, thank you. Uh, Lot's wife, and we <laughs> have to take great care with that one right. because we don't want her to dissolve any further. I saw uh, a shrunken head down here. Is that do. correct? We do. We have a shrunken head. Yes, indeed. That's, uh, that's one of our more rare oddities from the Fiji Islands. We have, uh, oh, the noose that was used to hang one of Lincoln's assassins, and the skin from Cleopatra's asp. A, with a P. With Make a sure you P. See P in there. Oh, and very rare, Count Dracula. <laughs> he is here in... What's left of him, yes, indeed. Him. And then probably a very rare find, which is on loan to us from France, the last thing that Marie Antoinette saw. Oh, that's, let's see that right over there to the left. We, we had to see the last thing Marie Antoinette saw. We're gonna, let me grab it. There you go, Chayton. Some of you will get the joke because it was the basket that held her head. It was the basket that held her head. The Museum of Oddities, one of the amazing things that you can experience here at All Hallows' Eve. It starts at 5.30 today here at Ohio Village. Make sure you come check it out, and we will be back with some more oddities and fun experiences. Is that right? Indeed, sir, you shall. Stay tuned. But first, Cameron Fontana is live at the Ohio Village. We are at All Hallows' Eve, an amazing event happening for your family this Halloween season. And coming up next, we're hanging with the Fate Lady, seeing what the future holds for us. Stay tuned. Happening today, flash forward to the future with a trip to Ohio Village. The future, you say? <laughs> the say. All Hallows' Eve event is happening today. Cameron Fontana, he's there right now looking into the future. Hi, Cam. What do you see? Good morning. We are, you know, we're going to see something hopefully very good in our fortune. We are in the Ohio Village in the pharmacy. Is that correct? That is correct. Tell us, this is the Fate Lady, is the it? Fate Lady, yes. The Fate Lady. Mm -hmm. Now, this is very interesting. Part of All Hallows' Eve, which is happening today at Ohio Village, starting at 530, yep. one of the things that and exhibits that people can walk through are fortune tellings, correct? Oh, there's lots of fortune telling games. See, Halloween is the one night of year when the gates swing open and magic swing open. swing open. Things can cross over to our side, but we can go to there. So your fortune telling is going to work this night of the year. So of all the other times, if you're not getting your fortune on Halloween, it's not working. It's only going to work on Halloween. Right? Only on Halloween. It'll be best here in the village. I think if there's any fortune teller businesses watching, they're just like, dang it. They gave away the secret. <laughs> okay, so we have one right here. What is this? She is the fate lady, and she's copied from the girl's own book from 1830. Is this a mini you? This is a mini me. Oh, so she's cool. actually from the 1830. This is the real design, and these are the real fortunes that were in that book. And what everyone can do is they can come up and they can spin her. If any dare to learn their fate, then let them at the lady wait. Okay. So take your finger, spin her head, and her wand will point to your Here heart. we go. Big money, big money, big money. Here we go. Let's see. It says... While in fun and play, do not trifle your life away. Words of wisdom right there. Oh, absolutely. Words to live by. I want to spin it again. Let's see. I'm going to do it. Let's see. This is going to be for Adam. Adam, let's see what your fate is. You ready? All right, Adam. Mm -hmm. Yours is <laughs> for you a husband strong of arms, <laughs> but weak in smarts and charms. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. I want to do it. Okay, Tara. Yes. This next one's for you, Tara. That sounds you like ready? my wife. 
Tara's is, for you a wife, <laughs> fair of face, full of charms and good grace. And we last but certainly not least, <laughs> we gotta do it for Phil Kelly. Phil. This one's for Phil. All right, Phil. Oh. You are possessed of talents, virtue, and grace, not least of all, your charming face. So they're all, oh. so they're all you got the good one, Phil. So Cameron, they're all false. They're all wrong. They're all false. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Coming up next, stay tuned to Fox 28 because we are going, is it the auditions for the morning? Correct, our Undertaker auditions for morning for our widow's uh, funeral. <laughs> is that good? Very good. He's going to hire you. Yeah, hopefully I get hired. Stay tuned, and we'll keep spinning this for you guys. Here we go. <laughs> I mean, how could they not hire Willy Wonka? Aw, good luck. Don't wait until the end of the month to celebrate Halloween. You can have some scary fun today at the Ohio Village. Cameron Fontana is getting in on this spooky action. Cameron, where are you? Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <sighs> Oh, good morning. I'm sorry. I was just taking a nap in this upright bed. It seemed to fit perfectly, didn't it? Well, you know, Cameron, I thought I was going to have to measure you. But oh, what, you for my suit? No, for your uh, container. Wait, is that, is that a coffin? It is, Cameron. Oh, my God. But you fit perfect. I won't even have to take any it, measurements. It's like the slim fit version. It's very nice. It fits you Life very blood. nicely, very nicely. Well, you know what? I hope it's a long time before I ever go in one of those. A very long time down the road, I'm hoping. Well, I'm not sure I share those same sentiments, if you can understand no, my purpose. No, it's going to be a very long time. So this is Ezekiel Barrymore. Correct. The furniture maker and undertaker. That's exactly correct. So tell us a little bit. Today, You this is where you make the coffins, but also... And caskets. And caskets. Also, you're looking for a very particular group of people, is that well, correct? Well, you know, actually right now, I'm very much in need of professional mourners. Normally, I hire children, but you know what? I think maybe we could interview you, see if you could become a professional mourner. So before I interview, what's the history? P well, professional mourner, did that even exist? Yes, it did, because in the 19th century, the Victorians really made a big deal about death. And one of the things was that you wanted to make sure that you had mourners at your funeral. So if you didn't have a lot of family, a lot of friends, maybe people who are getting older, they would come to the undertaker, ask me to provide professional mourners, and I would normally hire children because they make, with all due respect, uh -huh. better mourners than adults. In oh fact, I pay them twice as much as I would pay an adult. And this is historically accurate. This is historically accurate. And children were expected to work at that time. So this is one of the great jobs that children could do. So if I'm interviewing to be a professional mourner, OK, I'll put the uh, dead flowers down, put those over there. What are some tips that we need to do as a mourner to make some good money. Well, can you walk through it with me here yes. then? Okay, the first thing of all, um, you're going to have to maintain a very sad look the entire time. You cannot smile, obviously you can't laugh, so very, very sad look. Oh, that's excellent. He's doing a very good job. Now, some children have a hard time with that because they started smirking a little bit or maybe even some children in the village will try to make them laugh. That, of course, would result in immediately firing them, because I can't afford that. So what we're going to show you is what you can do. If you think you're going to smile or even worse, laugh, you just kind of bend over a little, cover your face entirely with your hands, do a little jiggle. Whether you laugh or cry, it's all the same. Nobody can tell. That's a laugh. That's excellent. So it does, it does That's, seem like that. Back in character. You may be one of the best mourners I've ever known. <laughs> You know, the other thing, too, is um, they also got into whaling. And I tell the children, this is something that I'm known throughout the county as providing the best professional mourners. And a whale is not a scream. It's kind of like a loud cry. So if I can demonstrate yeah, for you, me, me and see. then I'm going to ask you to do it. Okay. It's a little bit loud, okay, okay, because you want people to hear. Okay. <laughs> 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 I, get this you're breaking my heart. You're so good at this. Oh my goodness. Would I be hired? Most definitely, but I'm still going to pay you the adult rate. Oh, dang it. Make sure you come check out All Hallows Eve. Thank you so much, you're welcome, Ezekiel Cameron. Undertaker. It's We're happening so to today, 5 30, here at Ohio Village. It's right across the street from Crew Stadium. It's a great event for the family. Maybe the kids, you know, bring them in here, but it's a great family event. They have Sleepy Hollow, they have fortune telling, pumpkin carving, 
Don't miss it. Today and then next Saturday, have some fun here at Ohio Village. What did you guys think of this morning Cameron, in the studio? Cameron, that was convincing. Fun, Were those real tears? Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that, yeah. Well that, done. I, I bust out some real tears, yeah. That's impressive. <laughs> thank you. Cameron, Cameron Fontana, everyone. A round of applause. Cameron Fontana. <laughs> thank you.